All right, all right. Uh, shalom. Uh, before I begin this live stream, uh, this lesson, uh, first I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Yahushai, also as well, uh, double honors uh, to the apostles and the elders of Bay Song. They continue to bear words to this very day. And it's continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai. You know, still continuing to push this word, you know, from years and years on in, you know, continuing to set the example uh, for the nation of Israel, and also as well, uh, Shalom uh, to the Hopi elect as well. You know, the sincere Ikim, Tazadakim, you know, the righteous brothers that are continuing to uh, push this word, you know, continually, you know, the highways and byways, continuing to push out this uh, this gospel to other members of the Hopi elect in faith, in truth, sincerity, and also in our charity. All right. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and get right into it, man. You know, basically, you know, this uh, live stream is going to be centered around. You know, uh, current events, you know, and like the title says, uh, a memorial of foolishness, you know, because, you know, this weekend, you know, it's this weekend dedicated to, uh, you know, Memorial Day, which is tomorrow, you know, today being uh, Sunday. And, um, you know, and if you see uh, around, you know, especially, you know, us, the brothers that's here, you know, in, uh, in uh, Alabama, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we are witnessing, you know, these demons coming out of the forefront, man. You know, we're witnessing, you know, the, 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 these demons being, you know, stirred up, you know, especially during during this weekend, man. You know, it was it man, you know, if you saw, if you caught the live stream uh, yesterday, you know, it was, it was just demon day, man. You know, and they were everywhere, bro. You know, and, and you know, a lot of things was, was happening you know, during that time. But you know, this goes to show you that you know the the, the, the spirit of these people, you know, or the minds of these people are completely gone, man. And, and, and especially our people, man. You know. And here it is, you know, America, which is uh, Babylon the Great in the Bible, all right, has a long history of uh, slaughtering our people, you know, have a long history of shedding the blood of the nation of Israel, which are, which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, okay? And America is, the, the history of America is littered in bloodshed, man. It's littered in bloodshed, it's littered in war, okay? And the whole nine, man, is also littered with deception, Okay? Why, why is that? Because, you know, in today's time, you know, uh, America, you know, perpetuates the, the, the notion of, you know, people that are, you know, so-called white, so-called black, you know, so-called Asians, you know, basically that, that, that covering caste that's been put over all the people, you know, and, and, and this place is the catalyst uh, to do that, you know, this, this is the source of, of wickedness, man, okay, and, and it's being uh, uh, distributed to other parts of the world. Okay, but uh, like I said, you know, this is uh, this this video or this listen is gonna be uh, you know centered around you know this uh, you know Memorial Day weekend. You know, of course, you know you got people out barbecuing. You know, just just doing the most, man. You know, especially our people, man. You know, when it comes to days like this, our people are the main ones who are perpetuate this, man. You know, they're the main ones that they get all into it. You know, and not only to this day, you know, not only you know uh, Memorial Day, right? But you also got uh, you know. Uh, other holidays like the 4th of July, all right? And guess what? Uh, when the 4th of July rolls around, guess who's going to be the first ones to, uh, to uh, you know, to perpetuate this? Who, who's going to be, you know, the the, 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 the the biggest perpetuators of the 4th of July? It's going to be our people, man. And they have done that over the course of history, man. Why? Because our people are, are fully engrossed underneath the vibration of America, all right? They're, they're fully engrossed in the quote-unquote, you know, so-called freedoms you know, in which they believe is freedoms, which really is not, all right, because our people are still in captivity, all right? You, you're not free, man, all right? And you haven't been free ever since you got over here, man, okay? You know, our people, you know, they still got the notion that they can, you know, that they got some sort of equal footing with, you know, the rest of the nations that are here, you know, especially Esau and Edom, okay? And uh, guess what? They're about to meet a rude awakening, man, okay? They're, they're about to realize that the ones who they thought that they were equal to Okay, they're going to be uh, hunted down, man. All right, they're, they're going to be hunting down our people. Okay, but here it is, you know, again, you know, they, they, they are all engrossed in these uh, different days being set up, you know, here in America, you know, which, you know, tomorrow will be Memorial Day. Okay, and, and guess what? And, oh, and by the way, it's the Sabbath. All right, uh, look at that, man. All right, and guess what? Our people are going to are gonna openly profane the Sabbath, okay, by, by doing this. All right. 
they're going to openly uh, profane the Sabbath, man, because our people they don't know anything about about the scripture, man, right? Even though they they are told about being, you know, Christians, what have you, that they believe in the Bible, which they really don't, okay? Because if they did, they would do according to what's written, all right? And and the scriptures speak about days like this, man, okay? Now, uh, these are the days that, that, that the heathen are, are, are recognized, man. Okay, and, and, and the main ones that, that are recognizing it, right, is Esau Edom, all right, because this, this is the history, again, of, of war, of bloodshed, okay, and all this was done, those, those previous wars that took place, okay, they, they were, uh, the reason why those wars took place is because, why? Because this man has an agenda to meet, all right, it's not because, you know, you have this, you know, uh, villain, all right, you would say paint in, you know, in the news media, you know, they have these certain, you know, men that they set up as boogeymen, all right? You know, you know, uh, uh, the, you know, the, the, the peak of, of evil, you know? And, you know, they did that, you know, with uh, pe people in the past, you know, other nations. And guess what? They're doing it again, okay? They're doing it by, by putting uh, Vladimir Putin as uh, the boogeyman, all right? And it's always been like that, man, all right? But these, the, but the reason why these, these wars were, were taking place Right, it wasn't for the freedoms of these people as they push out, you know, in, in the media, you know, in, uh, in, in uh, you know, in the history that they push out. Okay, no, the reason why these wars were fought was, was for resources, man. All right, when you look at, you know, uh, case in point, the Vietnam War. All right, that was for resources, man. All right, with the, the, the poppy fields. Okay, and then you had um, the, um, the the war in Afghanistan. All right, what was that for? That was for oil. Okay, which is uh, the, 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 the richest or the, the, the one of the top commodities here in this world today. All right, oil. You know, a lot of things that you see around today uh, uh, that is used as oil. Okay, and, and, and especially the roads. All right, you know, different you know houses. You know, they have uh, the materials that they use to build the houses have have that same material with oil. Okay, so that's a top commodity, man. All right. And, and all those wars were fought because of that. So, you know, these people that have went into the military, you know, that uh, fought for this man, you know, they thought it was for a cause, you know, for the people. But no, man, they, the reason why they fought was for the bankers, all right? And that's what it's always been for, right? The, the, not only the military, you also have law enforcement, you know, people that work in, in, in the federal, federal world, all right? You no, know, all of them are working for the benefit of the bankers, man, all right, which are the higher ups of Edom in which Edom is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man, okay? And they're going to continue to do that until the time of where they're destroyed, man, because the scriptures say there's going to come a time to where when our law returns, all right, that the same ones that, that went to the military that thought that they were doing something right, you know, thought that they were fighting for a, a, a quote-unquote, you know, righteous cause for the people, you know, you know, like, like you know, they had to turn the day peacekeepers, okay? They thought they were fighting for that, but no. Right, you're gonna realize that you're you're fighting for uh, 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 you're you're fighting for uh, our adversary, man. You're fighting for the adversary. You're fighting for the so-called white man. All right, you're fighting for the bankers. You're fighting for the Rothschilds, man. All right, and that's who you're fighting for. Okay, but um, like I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the precepts that I got here. I got them uh, uh, a few of them lined up. But um, yeah, like I said, you know, uh, at the beginning is that our people. Are the, are the main ones that, that get into days like this, man. They do the most, man, okay? And that's why the scriptures say uh, they have done worse than their fathers, okay? And they are, all right? You know, uh, dedicating themselves, and, you know, just doing, you know, uh, giving 110% when it comes to, uh, you know, something like this, man, that when it comes to, you know, uh, 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 observing, you know, certain, you know, so-called holidays, you know they give it 110 percent but when it comes to the scriptures man they don't give they, they don't give no effort whatsoever all right the, and the words are clear and cut and here it is these are the words of yahweh Shah, man you know these are the words of the most high okay and yet and yet they they are uh, chosen right they chosen to give their energy over to esau edom man okay because when you look at it man uh when you you know, give a, a certain effort to something, right? Um, when you give a certain effort to, you know, uh, to whatever it is, you know, basically you're, you're, you're. Uh, I don't want to say commemorating, but that's a form of worship. You know, whenever you, you know, doing everything you can to, to put everything together for the specific day, you know, 
And, and in our case, right, you know, we uh, observe the high holy days, man. You know, like the Passover, uh, the Day of Atonement. Okay, you know, we we get in we get into those days. Why? Because we we worship the Heavenly Father, right? We worship Yahweh Hashem Shai. But these people that are here that are putting up certain decorations or what have you, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, basically, you know, putting together food, you know, uh, sending up, you know, uh, 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 smoke in the heavens, you know, which is a defiled, you know, a defiled stench in the in, in the nostrils of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay. And so that means that they worship, you know, they, they worship the, the works of the wicked. You know, they worship Esau, Edom, okay? When they give their energy over to, to that, man, okay? Versus the ones that's on this side, okay? Um, it's like versus the ones on, on this side, right, that are giving our full energy to you, how about you know, Shai, okay? And also, a shout out to the Akim, you know, and Aqua, you know, tune into the live stream, a shout out to you, how about you know, Shai, but the thumb. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop into it. You know, so first I'm going to grab uh, the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter 30, and uh, this is at verse 12. Okay, it said, "Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise His word, and trust in oppression and perverseness, and stay there." All right, and this is talking about our people, man, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. All right, because it says it says because ye have despised His word, man. Okay, and our people. Continually have to despise his word, man. Okay, and especially when it, when it's being uh, published in this manner, man. Okay, and here it is. You got the men of the Lord that are back today, all right. That are pushing forth prophecy, man. That, that are that are, are speaking the truth towards our people, man. And this is for the the benefit of our people, man. All right. And that's why if you read in the Book of Psalms, uh, 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 it says one of the scriptures, one of the precepts, it says that uh, this word was meant to be for our welfare. All right. But now it's become a trap. Okay? Why is that? Because now that they see this word being pushed out in, in truth, right? Being put forth in this in its entirety, okay. Now to them, you know, they look at that as evil. All right. And the scriptures say it as well. It says the truth shall be evil spoken of. All right. And, and who is speaking evil of the truth? All right. The, the, the main ones are two-thirds of our people, first and foremost. All right. You got Esau Edom, okay, which is the so-called white man. Okay. So they they have, they take this word and they have uh, cast it you know cast it to the side man okay but again it says because you despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay there man. all right so they stay on oppression man they they they're they're fully engrossed in it man they even know this man has shown you time and time again that he that he despises you all right time and time again he shows you that he is that he hates you man and he wants you dead. But here it is, you're still trying to bring this man in and with open arms, man. That's why our people continually get get uh, uh, destroyed by this man, okay? Why? Because they're you're letting the enemy in, man. All right? You're letting the enemy into your space. And guess what? And you know what? I'm going to grab Chris, uh, Chris up. Uh, Chris up. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna jump to uh, the apocalypse. That I really bring bring life to uh, what I'm saying, because again, you know, like I said, this man has shown you time and time again that uh, he is not for your turn, man. Okay, but uh, let's just like it. Let me get it real quick, real quick. Uh, okay, here it is. So it's the book of Sirach. Uh, Chapter twelve, and um, and I'm gonna start at uh, all oh, this is good, man. But I'm gonna start at uh, I'm gonna start at verse fifteen. All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter twelve, verse fifteen. It says, "For a while he will abide with thee." All right, and you see that, man. Like you, it may look like you know he's abiding with you know certain of our people, right? Uh, but if thou begin to fall, so the moment that you begin to fall, the moment that you're in some sort of adversity, right, he will not tarry. All right, he's not going to be there to help you out, man. Okay, uh, uh, case in point, I'll give you an example, right? Uh, what happened with uh, Katrina, right? A Hurricane Katrina in uh, Louisiana, man. Okay, where was Esau during that time? You know, well, what was Esau doing during that time? He was watching UJ suffer, man. All right, and not only, you know, not only that, that event, but that's also other times in history that. This man witnessed, you know, uh, our people in adversity or, or, or people being uh, uh, trying down, 
And he just, you know, he's like, hey, if anything, actually, you know what? Another precept, right? That uh, shows you that same, that same uh, motive, right? Actually, let me slide. Where it says, uh, race it, race it. Here it is. Yeah, this is the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 137, and this is at verse 7. It says, Remember, O Lord, Yahweh, Shino Shai, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. All right? These are the Edomites, man. Okay? What it was saying? Well, we, well this, is, this happened during the time of uh, the Babylonians, man. All right, we were taken down. All right, what was Esau Edom doing? All right, he was cheering them on, man. You know, he was pointing certain of us out to the Babylonians. You know, he was helping them out in our downfall, man. Okay, again, showing you the level of hatred that this man has for our people, man. Okay, this is this, and, and, and you know, we're going to it over and over again that this is an ancient hatred. All right, this hatred is going all the way back from the womb. Okay. So uh, going back to the book of Sirach, uh, chapter 12, and uh, this is in verse, uh, yeah, I'm continuing on in verse 16. It says, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Okay? So, and, and again, you see examples of that, man. Uh, case in point, uh, the Gadites and the Reubenites, right, the, the, uh, the northern tribes that were here, okay? They spoke sweetly with their lips, but in their heart, they were imagining how to throw our people into a pit, basically put them in captivity, man. All right? And guess what? The same thing's happening again today, man. And right now, they're, they're, they're putting certain actions or certain things together, all right, to throw our people back into total slavery, man. Okay? To the point that, to, because that's why the, the, the motto was being pushed around, you know, a few years ago, you know, when Trump was in office, okay? And that quote was, make America great again. Right, and, and that's not something that you know Trump came up with, you know, all of a sudden, you know. No, man, this, this is this is the message that he was given was given to him by by the higher ups of Edom, man. Okay, uh, these these uh, 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 Edomites that you see in, in the office, you know, in the Oval Office and the presidents, okay, you know, all these are operating underneath the uh, the, 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 the the watchful eye, all right, of the the so called elites of Edom, man, okay. And whatever they do, all right, they've been given orders to, to, to do certain things, man, okay? But going back to the book of Sirach, chapter 12, and this uh, verse 16, I'm going to start from the top again. It says, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. So not only is this man, right, he, he, when he finds opportunity, all right, and guess what? He he's in the opportunity right now to do that, man. Okay, so he's not going to be satisfied with blood. You know, that's that's he he wants more than that, man. He wants your soul, all right? He wants your spirit, man. Okay, that's why um, a lot of these uh, jakes that you see, all right, in the uh, in the media, right, that's in high positions. Okay, guess what? They took the pledge, man. All right, they 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 gave their their, their soul over to this man. Okay. So this man is not going to be satisfied with blood. No, he wants he wants you. All right? He wants you. He wants, he wants your soul. All right. He wants your, uh, your flesh. All right. He wants everything, man. Okay. Concerning our people. Okay. Why? Because to him, he looks at us as, as property, man. All right. Still is is still written in this in this legislation, right? That we're not even a, 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 a full human being. You know, he he regards us as as three fifths of, of a man. Okay. So he doesn't, doesn't regard us as, as men, all right? He regards us as cattle, man, okay? And, and what's really going to submit that, all right, is going to be uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, man, all right? The MOTB. That's, that's when it's really going to be submitted, okay? That's when he really is going to stake his claim on certain of the Israelites is going to accept that, man, okay? But uh, continuing on, right? It says, uh, verse 17, it says, If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, all right? So he's the main driver of adversity, man. That's why that's why he's known as Satan, man. All right. You know, if you look at uh, the word Satan, all right, the Hebrew word is Shatan, which means the adversary, man. Okay. Because not only do you have the spiritual demon Satan, right, but you also have Satan on this side as well in our in our time, man, in our world. Okay. And he comes in the form of Esau Edom. 
all right? Which again means adversary, man, or, or the, the word uh, Satan being adversary, okay? It says, um, and though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee, right? So he may pretend to help us, right? He'll probably, you know, make a speech, you know, saying, you know, hey, we're here, you know, we'll stick up for you, you know, we're here for you, right? But, but here it is, he says, but at the same time, he's looking to undermine us, man, okay? To undermine our people, and guess what? He's, he's doing it again, man, okay? But, um, right, this last verse of Surah, this other book of Surah 12, 18, it says, he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance, all right? So, and then that's what they do, man, all right? Especially uh, in this time today, okay? Seeing that the state of our people that uh, that they're in today, man, and what they're doing, they're clapping their hands, whispering, you know, uh, murmuring, okay? You know, and, and they do this, man. You know, they'll 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 look at you, they'll smile on your face, you know, they'll say, hey, you know, what, what have you, you know, you know, how the day going, you know, how's the family, you know, you know, you know that whole spiel, man, you know. But um, but when they when they get away from you, right, when they go back to their dwelling, you know, they, they talk mad shit about you, man. All right. Uh, to to their families, you know, sons, daughters, okay, and and, and that's and that's always been a continual thing, man. So hey, that's why we continue to tell our people, man, to get to get away from this man, all right? Because again, like the scriptures say, uh, he's not for our turn, okay. So uh, getting the next piece up, right? Uh, this book of uh, I think I'm finished off at Isaiah. Uh, actually, let me finish off Isaiah. This is book of Isaiah, uh, chapter thirty. And I'm starting from the top of verse 12 again. It says, Wherefore it does say the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, all right? Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, all right? So this iniquity, which is, is coming by the way of Babylon the Great, okay? It says it's going to be unto our people as a breach ready to fall, man. You see that, man. This breach, you look at what's going on around the world today, especially the state of America, man, all right? You see that this place is, is is about to crumble. It's it's falling, man. Actually, it's crumbling right now, man. All right, it, it's falling right before our very eyes, man. And we're witnessing this, man. That's why these these are exciting times, man. Okay, we are we are literally witnessing the downfall of our enemies, man. All right, and actually, there's a precept that that uh, uh that that says that or what kind of spirit that we're in, witnessing the downfall of our enemies, right? Uh, let me see if I can get it. Slide. Yeah, here it is. So it's the book of Sirach, chapter 25, and there's a verse 7. All right. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. All right. And, and here it is, man. This, this, these, what's happening right now. All right. We are joyful. At the fall of our enemy, man. Okay, and we're living to see the fall of our enemies. Okay, so again, like I said, these are exciting times, man. All right, and that's why we're in the spirit now to go even harder in this truth. All right, you know uh, that's why, again, Paul said to hard point this year, man. We're going to continue to bring it up. Okay, Paul said to hard point this year as the year of Yahweh Bashan you know, turned up, man. All right, and again, you you're witnessing that right now, man. All right, and in a form. Of Yahweh Bashi you know, turning up is is witnessing or, or seeing or uh, causing our enemy Esau Edom to fall, man, and continue to fall. All right, and, and and that fall, right, is 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 is, is starting to be elevated, man. Okay, and, and you see, you're seeing, and, and this man, you know, he's he's falling flat on his face, man. Okay, and, you know, he's reached the, the 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 peak of wickedness, right? He reached the pinnacle of his kingdom. All right. And there's a thing about it, and I know the brothers, you know, brought it out before, uh, uh, you know, it's been a while, but, you know, you get to the peak of a mountain, all right, it's, it's more easier to fall, man, okay? It's, it's way more easy. Once you get to the peak of a mountain, it's way easier, and you have more more room for error, man. And that's where this man is at today. So now you're witnessing him slipping, okay? And he's slipping at the top of the mountain, and guess what? That fall is going to be great, man, okay? Because making your way up that mountain is it's a challenge, man. It's, it's hard, man. All right, that's why over the years you see this man continually uh, build his kingdom. All right, for years and years on end, trying to build his enterprise. Okay, and now what's going to happen is when the Lord returns, 
all that's going to disappear within an hour, okay? It tells you that the display is going to be destroyed in an hour, okay? Versus this man, you know, put, you know, uh, laboring, you know, for years and years, hundreds of years, trying to establish his kingdom, man. And all for all that to be destroyed in one hour, all right? That's how speedy the destruction is going to come, man, all right? And that's how great that fall is going to be, okay? So, uh, uh, to continue on, right? Uh, I'm sorry from the top of verse 13 again. It says, therefore, his iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant, okay? So it says it's going to come suddenly, man, all right? And we speak about this, the suddenness of the hour of Hashem, man, okay? That's why the scriptures say that the Lord is going to come back as a thief in the night, man. In other words, some is certain of the prophecies, all right, want to take place, all right? And these people are not going to be prepared for it, man, especially our people, man, okay? They're not going to be prepared for it because all is going to come at, at, at one time, man, all right? And back to back to back to back, okay? And the Lord right now is speeding up the times for the elect state, okay? The scriptures say that, man, all right? Um, it's a slocky. Okay, so that's uh, that's it on Isaiah 30. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to the book of uh, Nahum, chapter 3, and verse 1. It says, woe to the bloody city, okay? And it's talking about America, man, all right? Th this is the bloody city, man. Why is it deemed as the bloody city, okay? It's deemed as the bloody city because this city has a history of bloodshed, just continual bloodshed. We are literally standing on top of, of the blood of, of, of millions of, of the Israelites, man, all right? Especially Gad and Reuben, man, you know, the, the northern tribes. All right, because when Esau and Edom came over, you know, our people were already here, man. All right, they were here, okay? And guess what? He came over with the sword, man. All right? He came over to this land with war in his heart, all right? With uh, this, this this guy, this tyrant, all right, Christopher Columbus, man. All right, which the people know as Christopher Columbus, okay? That's why it's, and it's documented that he couldn't put his sword down for an hour. That's how much, that's how much destruction and murder that he committed, man. All right. And yet here it is, you know, certain people still, you know, uh, uh, promote or they still look up to Christopher Columbus, you know, uh, uh, coming over here to establish, you know, a settlement, man, for, for the Edomites, man. And therefore uh, causing this place to, 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 to progress to what you see today, man. All right. But again, this is known as the bloody city, man. OK. Again, it's littered with the blood of, 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 of the saints of the Habash, you know, Shai, the Israelites, man. OK. And, they, and, and, and that blood is still continuing to pile up, man. Okay? Now, uh, read on. It says, it is, all, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. Okay? So the prey, the prey and we're the prey, man. All right? Us here in, in Babylon the Great. We're, we're the prey. We're the ones that, that are being hunted down by this man. Okay? And again, you know, you witness that each and every single day, man. Okay? We're, we're the targets for this man. Why? Because again, like I said earlier, we we, we are in direct, we are in uh, adverse against each other, man. All right, going all the way back to the womb, man. Jacob and Esau, man. Okay, the the the, the, the struggle between between the two nations, man. All right, and it was told to um to our Rebecca, man, that uh that, that two nations, all right, was uh, in a womb, okay, and that they both struggled together, okay. If you look at that word struggle in the Hebrew, okay, it means to oppress, okay? So we were already oppressing each other, all right, in the womb, man, okay? And that oppression still continues. That's why I read earlier in uh, Isaiah, the 30th chapter, that uh, our people stay on, on, on the oppression of the so-called white man, okay? Because, again, that oppression still continues to this very day, man, okay? So uh, going back to Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1, it says, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. All right, verse two, it says, the noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. And there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses. And there is none in of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses. See that? And that's why, again, we, we are standing on top of bloodshed right now. All right? Everywhere you go, man. Why? Because, again, like I said, you know, this, this land has a whole full history of bloodshed, and war, murder, okay? And, um, 
Yeah, I'm going to read his last verse. This is the book of Nahum, chapter 3, verse 4. And actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I read verse 4. It says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that sell the nations through whoredoms and families through witchcrafts. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame, right? So that, so that same bloodshed which I'm mentioning, all right, is being pushed out in the forefront now, okay? Why? Because we, the, the, the men of the Lord are, are, are putting it out there, man, all right? That's why, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're deemed as uh, the, 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 the spiritual forecasters, man, all right? The, the spiritual weathermen, man. All right, you know, we'll, we'll let you know that look, you know, danger's on the horizon, man. You know, the the the, the Lord is, is getting is being prepared to come back into latest land desolate, man. Okay, and for this same reason, because it is a bloody city, and the scriptures tell you how you deal with uh, a, a, you know certain individuals, certain people that have committed bloodshed, right? And 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 what is to be rewarded for doing that, right? So it's the book of Nate, uh, not Nate, the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. It says, So shall ye not pollute the land wherein ye are. All right. And this is talking and, and, and once they came over here again, like I said, it was uh, Esau Edom, right? And they and they slaughtered, all right, the the uh, they slaughtered the Gadites, all right, the so-called Native American Indians, okay? Slaughtered them and, and claimed this land as their own. And yeah, here it is, they got the nerve to tell you to go back, you know, to you know. Especially, you know, the so-called Latinos tell them to go back to their land, and they tell us to go back to Africa. All right, but yeah, here it is. You're you're immigrants over here, man. You 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 know you you came over here and you forced yourselves over here, man. All right, you forced out the original people that were here, okay, and you claim this land as your own, and now you're telling, you know, the rest of the other people to go back to where they come from, but yet you're not even the original people that were here, man. All right, that that shows you the the, the nerve of this devil, man. That shows you the level of pride that he has, man. All right? And that's why the Lord is going to utterly destroy this man off the face of the earth, man. Okay? And it's well deserved, man. Call all y'all by Shino Shot, man. All right? So uh, back in Numbers chapter 35 and 33, it says, So ye shall, so shall not pollute the land where ye are, for blood it defiled the land. Right? So this land is defiled with blood, man. Okay? And here it is. You got our people. Right, that's going into you know uh, going into the you know the military, okay? That's going into you know uh, 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 you know the army, you know Edom's army, all right? To fight for this man, you're fighting for the bloodshed of our people, man. You're you're fighting. That's what you're fighting for, man. Okay? You're you're fighting for the downfall of our people, man. All right? And the Lord got a special judgment for you, Jake. That's in the military, man. And guess what? You're gonna have the 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 the, the privilege and the honor. Of meeting Yahweh Shai in the air, man. And meeting him when he comes back uh, with his chariots, man. All right, you're gonna be the ones that's gonna see him. All right, and the scriptures gonna and the scriptures say you're gonna try to fight against him, man. All right, I'm gonna get it here in a little bit, okay? But like I said, you're you're gonna be the ones that's gonna face Yahweh Shai, man, when he returns, man. Okay, and he's going to get down on you, man. All right, he's gonna make sure that 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 you are uh, are, are turned to dust and smoke, man. Okay. That, that's his agenda. That's the Lord's agenda, man. Okay? That's his that's his MO. All right. That that's the way he's coming back. That, that's his uh his mission. All right. His mission is gonna be to destroy every every single one of you wicked Jakes, man, and you Edomites, okay, and you other nations that are here, man. Okay. Because the time of talking is gonna end very soon, man. All right, and that's gonna come in the form of us not being able to push this word out on the airways anymore, okay. You're not gonna when the days come, right? Martial laws and that, you're not gonna see us out there on the highways and byways anymore, man. Teaching this word in the midst of you know troops walking up and down the streets, man. Okay, no, that the time of talking is gonna be over, man. It's gonna be the time of doing. All right. Um. Yes, read on. Right. It says, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Okay. So who is the main one that shed the blood? All right, over in this land, who who who's the, the the main driver of that? You know, who has a history of doing that? You know, concerning you know the bloodshed of our people. All right, that's the, it's Esau, man, Edom. That's the criminal, okay, that has done this, man. And guess what? Like it says here, that the, the land cannot be cleansed of that blood unless his blood be shed, man. Okay, that's true justice, man. Okay, that that's the justice. 
that is well deserved, man. And that's the justice that Yahweh Bashmel Shah is gonna bring, man. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go on from there. I'm gonna get the book of uh, Revelation, chapter 18, and uh I'm gonna get uh verse uh let's see, slacky. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hold this on deck. Um actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna get straight to the point. So this book of Revelation chapter 18. Uh, verse 13. So this is going into uh, into Babylon, man. Okay, about um, when this place is, is destroyed. Okay, and the merchants standing afar off, you know, seeing this place be destroyed. Okay, that's in other parts of you know of the world. You know, in, in the further reaches of, of this current world. Okay, they're gonna witness this. Okay, they're gonna witness the downfall of, of, of this place, of America. Right now, um, in verse 13, there's a, a point in this uh, precept that shows you that. Our people, all right, are still labeled as slaves here in this land, all right? And, and, and like I said earlier, you know, concerning our people that's in these high lofty positions, all right, they have given themselves wholly over to this man. They give themselves over to to to, uh, to, to this man's, you know, agenda, all right? This is everything this man pushed out, they have given themselves over to, man, all right? Uh, that's why you got certain days set up, you know, uh, uh, what they call holidays, right? That our people are fully engrossed into, man. Okay. Now I'm grab verse 13, all right. And it says, uh, and cinnamon and odors, ointments, frankincense, wine and oil, fine flour, wheat, and beasts. It's talking about the merchandise of, of Babylon, man. It says, and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. All right. Slaves and souls of men. That is what's being uh, uh, pushed out. This is this is what is taking place here in America, man. All right, you have slaves and souls of men that are being uh, traded, okay, right now as we speak, okay. Why? Because it, I mean, you look at um, I mean, you look at the entertainment world. That that's this is where you really see this, man. All right, how the souls of men are being used, right, in, in, in the fashion to where they they, they don't that their whole moral morals and principles that they you know grew up with, you know, from from a child up, all that's gone to the wayside, man. Okay. Because once you take that pledge, okay, your 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 humanity is no longer existing. All right, you're 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 now a product and a slave of this man. All right, and not just that, you also have other forms of that too. Okay, you got certain of our people giving themselves over to you know careers, you know wasting their their years and their lives, you know just to have you know have the bag, so to speak. You know our people talk about you know getting the bag, you know, and that's what our people are on about, man. All right, they don't care about you, the, the things of the spirit, man. All right, they care about the here and now, okay. And, and here it is, we, you, we're witnessing a form of this today, man. Okay, so that's it on that in Revelation chapter 18, verse 13, and that's it on Numbers 2. So, uh, so again, like I said earlier, you know, concerning you know, the, the, the one certain of our people that's that's in the military, right, or in the army, you know, like I said, you know, they're they're fighting for a cause that's that's for. The, the, the higher else to eat them, right? For for their cause, man. Okay, for their agenda. Okay, because the, what, what they're trying to do, all right, is trying to emulate Yahweh Bashmiel Shah, man. And it tells you that, man. It tells you that uh, they're trying to be like the Most High. Okay, and they put themselves up as being the Most High, showing themselves that he, that that they are the Most High. Okay, but uh, again, like I said, you know, the, the, these these are just uh, uh, common men, man. All right, they, they can't reach the level of Yahweh Bashmiel Shah, even though they try to. Okay, and then they have their own methods of doing it. Right, they have certain technology they try to use to emulate themselves as, as, as being the Most High. Okay, and which that, that that's going to come to naught, man. Okay, why? Because these things that are that are that they they are into are fleshly. Okay, Yahweh Bashmiel Shah is of the spirit, man. Okay, and guess what? He's going to meet this man in that fashion. All right, as being a powerful spirit, man. Okay, the, the uh, an angelic force. All right. So uh, I want to grab something real quick, uh, you know, concerning their uh, agenda. Right now, um, what I did was I went on Google. Right. And uh, I, I typed in uh, enterprise crown with success. OK. And what I did was I typed that in enterprise crown with success. And I put in the word Latin at the end of that. And the first thing that popped up uh, on one of the results is the, 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 the Latin phrase, Inuit coeptus, all right? And we already know what that, that means, all right? But when you go into uh, Inuit coeptus, 
right? Which we already know that it means uh, enterprise crown with success, okay? When you look up in Inuit Corruptus, all right, it says, uh, I'll, I'll pull it up on Wikipedia. Uh, it says, uh, Annuit Coeptus is one of the two models on the reverse side of the great seal of the United States. That's, that's the one with uh, the you know the pyramid with the all CNI and on your dollar bill, okay? And they call that the great seal, okay? Now it says, um, it says the literal, the literal translation is favors or, or has favored, okay? are undertaking okay so favoring their undertakings in other words uh, again their enterprise being crowned with success all right their, their enterprise being favored okay their their agenda being favored okay in, in, in their endeavors man why again because like i said they're, they're trying to emulate them being the most high man all right and and, and they're definitely going to uh, attempt to submit that by way of the motb like i was speaking about earlier man okay just because through that all right, they have complete control over your life, man. All right, it's not it's not just you know the scriptures speak on it, you know, concerning you know the buying and selling, you know, uh, of merchandise by way of this new form of uh, 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 this new system, right? But it's more than that, man. It's more than just you know making transactions. No, this this is where your whole being is going to be tied into. That's why um, there was a quote, and I believe the brothers posted that uh, earlier this morning. Right, uh, Elon Musk. Okay, he made his, the statement saying that he wants the uh, everyone's you know genetic makeup or DNA, you know, basically the person themselves to be put into their database, man. All right, and that's why again, like I said, you know, this whole system is being set up, and really the scripture is going to it, man. Revelation the thirteenth chapter. All right, about the image of the beast. All right, the image of the beast talking about the system that you see today, man, and, and through this M O T B. All right, the M A R K. You know, almost say a word but um through this they're going to be integrated into that same system man okay you you're you're gonna you're gonna be part part of that man you're gonna be part of the of, of, of that network man all right that's why they already got uh systems in place like smart homes okay that's why when you have uh this little home base i believe i, I forgot the name of it but it's like an apple product i think i think it's apple home if i'm not mistaken but that's not on that's not the only one right they have that they have Alexa, you know, uh, Google, okay, uh, 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 you know, all these things, you know, these, these smart devices, right, that that controls your home, man, all right, stuff around your home, and in the, the, the network world, they call it uh, the Internet of Things, okay, and the reason why they call it the Internet of Things is because everything is connected in that system, right, and they get, now it's getting to the point to where the people are going to be a, a part of that system. Right, so not only your appliance is going to be connected in that network, but you yourself is going to be connected in that network. And guess what? Your your everything that you do, everything that you get into, you know what you eat, you know where you go, you know what you're doing, with your likes, dislikes, your favorites, you know your non-favorites. All right, your 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 hobbies, all of that, man. Everything that revolves around your life is going to be put into that system, man, by way of the MOTB. Okay, and guess what? The majority of our people are going to willingly accept it, right? But not to get too far off topic, you know, uh, I'm going back to uh, this phrase, and you equip this, right? Um, it says, right? It says, uh, you, it says, because of its context, as a caption above the eye of providence, right? Let me look at, let me see the eye of providence. All right, that's that all CNI that, that they got on top of the pyramid, which, you know, and, 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 and okay, so, and, and here it is again, you know, it, that's why you, you got to ask questions, you know, why, why is a pyramid on the back of the dollar bill? You know, why is there all seeing now on top of that pyramid? You know, these are the questions that's got to be asked, man. And like I was mentioning earlier, you know, on, on the in transit live stream that I was doing on the way back, you know, I was saying that, you know, the, these Christians today, you know, modern day Christianity, they don't ask questions like these, man. You know, they don't question certain things concerning, concerning, you know, what's going on here in America. Why? Because they're, they're part of it too. All right. You know, and they and they, you know, they, they, they promote you know this thing called uh, church versus state. You know, basically, or, or a separation of church and state. Like it. a separation of church and state, which really that, that's not even the case. Okay, because guess what? The, the the church is a part of the state, man. All right. And in order for you to even have a, a, a quote unquote official church, is that you have to uh, basically 
get permission from the state to even have an establishment, man. That's why they're they they are under oath. That's why they're underneath a, a, a tax exemption called the 501c3 charter. Okay. In other words, they can only do certain things underneath that charter, right, and push out certain doctrines underneath that charter, and they can't speak about certain things concerning the scriptures, man. You know, certain topics. You know, uh, hey, and that includes prophecy, man. Okay. They can't say these things. If they do, they'll lose that that uh that foothold. All right. They'll lose their establishment if they do that. So again, they're under oath, man. So they can't speak about things. All right. These things concerning the Bible, man. All right. So uh, here it says the eye of providence, right? On this, on the back of your dollar bill, it says is a symbol that depicts an eye, often enclosed in a triangle and surrounded by rays of light. All right. And that, that lets you know that they they they, they put themselves up as the light of the world, in which that's why you go in the book of Isaiah, uh, the 14th chapter, it speaks about Lucifer, all right? And, uh, and Lucifer means a uh, light bearer, okay? So you do have light bearers in the world today, okay? And, and they're on both sides, all right? On the right-hand side and on the left-hand side. But when the scriptures go into uh, Lucifer in the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, it's talking about those on the left-hand side, all right? The light bearers is on the left hand, okay? Uh, 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 the ones that are uh, the, the wicked light bearers, okay? So, uh, again, it says, uh, surrounded by rays of light, right, meant to represent divine providence, whereby the eye, and they got the eye of God watches over humanity, which now you got to ask the question, well, what God are you talking about? All right? Because that, that, that's taking place today, you know, the worship of, you know, false gods, all right? You know, the worship of, of Satan, okay? So, so what God are they, are they talking about when it's talking about God watches over humanity, all right? And really, uh, if you really look at it, right, where it says whereby the eye of God watches over humanity, it's really they, they're, they're talking about themselves being being the most high. All right? It's like. Okay, it's like. Um, yeah, so again, it says uh, whereby the eye of the most high watches over humanity, a well-known example of the eye of providence, right? And uh, yeah, I believe that's it on that. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, grab this scripture, right? And since I read that, uh, uh, that the, about the phrase of annual corruptus, right? So it's the book of Job, uh, chapter 5, verse 12. It says, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, right? And like, and like I said, this is their, their enterprise, right? They're trying to crown this enterprise with success, okay? But Yahweh Bashmiel Shai is going to disappoint them, okay? He's going to disappoint the devices of, of, of the crafty, which is Esau, Edom, okay, so that they cannot perform the enterprise, so that they cannot uh, uh, fully, you know, uh, uh, fully take take advantage of their enterprise or to fully meet their enterprise, right? Because the scriptures speak on that concerning them, you know, reaching that point. And actually, let me see if I can get it real quick. Uh, slide. Okay, it's the book of Job, uh, chapter 20, and there's a uh, verse uh, 23. It says, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain upon him while he is eating. Okay, so when this man is, is about to fill his belly, right, with, with what? Right, his, 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 what, what his goal is concerning his agenda, okay? Him, you know, having complete control of everything. Him meeting his new world order agenda, man, okay? So when he is about to fill his belly with that, Right, it says the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain upon him while he is eating. So when he is about to enjoy, all right, his his, his new order agenda. When he's about to enjoy, all right, his his establishment. Okay, guess what's going to happen? All right, the Lord's going to come back. All right, he's going to knock the fork out of his hand. Okay, and he's going to completely and utterly destroy him. Man. Okay, so. uh yeah, that's it on that. Uh, let me go back to the book of Joel, chapter 5, verse 12. So again, it says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Okay? So again, you know, their, their, their hands, they're not going to be able to perform their enterprise, man. Okay? Because the Lord Yahweh Shnel Shai is going to put a stop to that. Okay? So uh, moving on from there, uh, let me get the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49. Uh, this is at verse 22. And like I was mentioning earlier, man, you know, concerning these uh these people that are in the military, especially our people, 
okay, that are fighting for that same agenda, that same enterprise, right, that they're trying to crown with success, guess what? They're going to get caught in the crossfire, man, okay? You know, our people, they don't, they don't realize, a certain of our people that are actually in, in, in the military, right, they don't realize that they're, they're about to, 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 to fight the, the, the son of the Heavenly Father, man, all right? They're about to fight the, 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 the uh, they, they're, about, they're about to fight Yahweh Shah, man, okay? The, 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 this, the angelic force is coming back, man, okay? Our, our Lord and Savior, man, okay? So uh, this is at Jeremiah chapter 49, this is at verse uh, 22, okay? Uh, Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. It's talking about Yahweh Shah when he returns, man, okay? So he said he's going to come up and he's going to fly as the eagle, all right? And spread his wings over Basra. In other words, his when, he, when the Lord returns, all right, this man is going to be completely surrounded, man. Okay, the chariots of the Lord, all right, which these uh, people call you know so-called UFOs, you know them being ignorant to it, right? These these chariots are already here, man. All right, they're, you know they're, they're here and they're observing everything. Okay, that's why at certain times, you know, you'll see you know chariots appear, you know, during at certain times of the day. Okay, going to the night. Okay. That lets you know that they they are indeed in the midst, okay, and they're looking over everything, man. So when the time comes when Yahweh Shah returns, all right, this man is gonna realize that he is surrounded, okay. Um, uh, case in point, uh, I give an example, right? Um, I believe it was Alicia, if I'm not mistaken. You know, just in case, you know, I don't wanna uh, butcher it. Let's see if I can find it. Where it says there'll be more of us than of them. Um, this is like, I believe it's it right here. Uh, it's like here. He told him to open the eyes of uh, the servant so he can see. Uh, so let me get it real quick, real quick. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is when Alicia. Uh, uh, pray to the Most High, right? And actually, uh, let, me, let me go ahead and get it real quick. So it's the book of uh, Second Kings, uh, chapter six, and um, I'm gonna start at verse uh, sixteen. Okay. Uh, actually, you know it's like uh, I'm gonna start at verse fifteen. It says, "And when the servant of the man of the Most High was risen early and gone forth, behold." And hosts come past the city, both with horses and chariots. And the servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? Okay. And he answered, Fear not for that, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. So just even reading this, all right, looking at looking at it now, all right, you see that the chariots making themselves appear. All right. You have to know that this man, he has his force, right? He has his military, okay. You know, he has his uh, uh, military forces, okay? But guess what? Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, all right, he has more, you know, more of the Lord's forces than, than, than Esau does, man. It's more of the army of Yahweh Bashmi al Shai than it is of the army of Esau, man, okay? But in this case, right, when, um, you know, I'm just bringing this out as an example, right? Uh, continue on, verse 17, it says, And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And it had to be a sight, man. Okay? So he saw, you know, the chariots. He saw what the people deemed as so called UFOs, man. All right? That was, that was uh, round about Elisha. Okay? So uh, that's it on that. Uh, let me go ahead and go back to uh, let's see, it's like it. yeah, I was on that. Uh, I was at Jeremiah, so I'm gonna get the book of um, uh, Second Edges, right? Uh, Second Edges, chapter thirteen, and um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start from the top. Second Edges, chapter thirteen. This is at verse one. This is talking about the return of our Lord, man. Okay, and it says. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, 
that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, like I, like I read earlier in, in the book of Second Kings, man. All right, there there be more of the of the men of the Most High or the army of the Most High than it is of the army of Esau, Edom, man. Okay, so it says, look, behold, that that man waxed wax strong with the thousands of heaven, and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. So when he returns, okay, when 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 he returns with his chariots, man, these these men that are in the military, they're gonna be they're going to see this, man, firsthand, okay? And it says, all they that seen him, or shall, all things that, that are trembled that were seen under him, man. So all, all these people are going to be trembling, man. Not only the, the military, the, the men of the military are going to see it, okay? The rest of the people that are here are going to see it, all right? The whole world is going to witness this, man, okay? That, everybody's going to witness the return of Yahweh Shah, man. That's why the scriptures say that all eyes shall see him, okay? But, um, Continue on in verse 4, it says, And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burnt that heard his voice. I guess the earth faileth when it filleth the fire. All right? So it's not literally talking about, you know, the uh, the, uh, the voice, you know, just bringing out flames. No, it's talking about when the chariots, all right, shoot out fire, man. All right? When the chariots shoot out the concentrated fire. Okay? And they show you that in these movies, man. All right? A uh, case in point, uh, Independence Day, man. You look at Independence Day, you know, Esau was getting messed up, man. All right. He couldn't do nothing against those chariots, man. All right. And the, and the way that the move is put together, all right, you know, and they, they know. They know that the chariots are here in the midst, man. Okay. And they know that these chariots have those capabilities. Why? Because we're reading about it right now. Okay. Uh, verse 5, it says, And after these, after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number. From the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So not only will this military will, will get involved, right? But you also got other other our nations as well is going to get involved, right? And, and their military forces, okay? And they're going to see the Howard Shah return with the thousands of heaven, man. Okay. Um, verse six said, "But I beheld and lo, he had grayed himself a great mountain and flew upon it, okay? But I would have seen the region." Or place where where out the hill was graven, and I could not write. So, the, it was compared to a mount, okay, with, with who the Lord was riding on, man, okay. And, and this was talking about the chariot, all right, the the fathership, okay. But Ezra said that he would have seen the region of places where that mount would have been carved out, and he couldn't, okay. So that means that that he he uh came down right on the fathership, man, all right. And this is the vision that Ezra was seeing, okay. Um, verse 8, it says, And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to, to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet there is spite. So they're going to be fearful, man. All right? They're, they're going to be fearful in that day, and they're going to be uh, shaking in their boots, man. Literally. All right? But yet they're still going to fight him, man. Okay? Even though they're, they're going to be afraid in that day, they're still going to try to fight the Lord, man. Okay? Uh, verse 9, it says in low, and as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, right, and when they were uh, when they started the attack, right, when they started the fight against them, right, he neither lifted up his sword nor held lifted up his hand slightly. He neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he had sent out of his mouth, talking about the mouth of chariots, right. It says as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath. And out of his tongue, he cast out sparks and tempests, right? And these are the chariots that are doing this, man, okay? And like I said, the Lord with his chariots are going to get down, and they're going to and they're gonna completely and utterly destroy these these individuals, these, these military personnel. Not only them, right? Like I said, you got the rest of the people that are going to feel that fire too, okay? But when this happens, all right, they're going to be uh, completely disintegrated, all right? Like, I know the apostles would always say dehydrated. And they, yeah, they are going to be dehydrated, right? When they feel that fire, man. Okay? Uh, verse 11, it says, And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which prepared to fight, and burned them up, every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. Right, so through through that, all right, the 
the, the bond's gonna be filled up with the multitude, all right, and it's gonna burn them up, man. All right, they're gonna be completely burnt, all right. And guess what? It says here, this is gonna be nothing to be perceived but dust and smell of smoke, man. So they're all gonna be turned into complete dust, all right. And none of them's gonna be left, man. All right. The, when the Lord returns, it tells you that, right? Uh, let me get it real quick. Isaiah chapter sixty-six, all right. Isaiah sixty-six. 66 verse 15 all right so this book isaiah chapter 66 verse 15 it says for behold the lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will the lord yahweh shall plead with all flesh and disappoint and the slain of the lord shall be many all right so Lord is gonna have is gonna have uh, an innumerable amount of bodies on him, man. Okay. And, and, and guess what? And we and we have been revered for that, man. You know, for 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 uh, winning, you know, warfare. Okay. Uh, case in point, um, look at King David, man. All right. When um when he was underneath um when when King Saul was there during that time, okay, and they were fighting, you know, certain battles. Okay. What was noised about was that uh, King Saul. Kills his thou he killed his thousands, all right, and King David his tens of thousands, all right, and they were and they were known for that, man. Okay, so guess what? Yahweh Bashanel Shai is going to be known for the destruction of these people in Babylon the Great. Man. He's going to take the the he, he's going to uh, take the fame, all right. He's going to be famed for that, man. And it, it also an example. Another example is uh, Judges, um, I believe it's the um, ninth chapter, if I'm not mistaken, where it says they heard the fame of the Lord. What he, what he, all he did in Egypt, okay? Guess what? That's going to be noised about again, man. But this time he's going to be revered for the destruction of the new Egypt, all right? Which is this place, America, man. And when the scriptures speak about this place being uh, spiritually uh, a Sodom in Egypt, okay? So uh, going back to, um, yeah, that's it on the second year, just uh, 13. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a Revelation chapter 12, verse 7, all right? It says, and there was a war, and there was war in heaven. Okay, it's not talking about in the spiritual world, like they, you know, these these uh, whacked out Christians say, you know, that uh, there was a war going on in the spiritual world. You know, Michael and you know uh, Lucifer, you know, everybody fighting each other. You know, oh man, none of that was going on, man. The, the, the heavens are in order, man. Okay, the, the spiritual world is in order before you how about you know shot, man. Uh, case in point, um, there was a council during the time of King Ahab. Right in the in the time of uh, when uh, King Ahab, the king of Israel, all right, and then you had the prophet uh, uh, Micaiah, all right, uh, Micah, I'm pronouncing it correctly, but uh, but he, uh, the prophet um, uh, Micaiah, uh, Micah, was telling them, look, the Lord right now is having a council for your life, all right, and he's and he's and he's right now he is a uh, uh, consultant spirits on the left hand side, right, on what to do with you, all right. And he told him, he said, look, the, one of them is going to be, one of them was, was to be set up as a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets, man. Okay. And guess what? Through that, King Ahab was taken out, man. Okay. So that, like I said, that, that council in the heavens, all right, they're, they're in order, man. You know, they're not revolting or rebelling against the Ahab. There's no rebelling in the spiritual world, man. All right. All things are trembling. You know what? There's another scripture that, that actually us, uh, uh, says, let me see. Uh, let's just like get real quick, real quick. Um, it's like, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, the scripture where it speaks about, uh, uh, let's see, where it speaks about, you know, the, those they also. Oh, here it is. Yep. It's the book of uh, James, chapter 2. And uh, this is at verse, uh, verse 19, right? James, chapter 2, verse 19. It says, Thou believest that there is one power, all right? Thou doest well, all right? So you believe that there's one power. Hey, you're doing well. But guess what? The devils also believe and tremble, all right? Again, it said, The devil also believe and tremble, 
Okay, so like I said, you know, the, the council in the heavens, they, they, they do according to the bidding of Yahweh by Shino Shot, man. Okay, and certain things that take place, you know, uh, on the planet Earth, you know, is due to those orders being given down from Yahweh by Shino Shot. That's why the brothers keep saying over and over again, you know, at times, you know, you find yourself giving too much credit to uh, Satan, man, you know, for, for doing certain things. But no, man, Yahweh by Shino Shot has them to do these certain things, okay, on the planet Earth to fulfill. The prophecy to fulfill his word, man. Okay. Um, yeah, so going back to uh Revelation chapter 12 or 7, like I said, you know, it's not talking about you know war in the spiritual world, okay. It's talking this talking about here in this world, okay. So it said there was a war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, right? And that dragon represents Esau Edom, okay. And and, and, and like I said. You know, the, the armies of Esau are going to stand up to fight against the armies of Yahweh you know, Shai, and, and Michael is going to be a part of that, man. Okay? Michael the Archangel, okay? Who's uh, the, the most powerful of them all, okay? He's going to be a part of that, man. And guess, like I said, it's going to be war in heaven, okay? In other words, it's not talking about the spiritual world, okay? It's talking about in the skies, man, okay? Because you got three three kinds of heavens, and it speaks about that in, in, in the scriptures, all right? Right, you got the first heaven, right, which is uh, uh, the, the skies, right, or the, the, the atmosphere, okay, and then you got the heavens, uh, which speaks about a condition, okay, because somebody, you know, a person that, that is in their kingdom, you know, they're, they live, they're living in heaven, man. That's why our scriptures say that um, um, the heavens are going to be on fire. Let me see if I can get it real quick. This is, you know, just bring out a quick example, you know. Um, Real quick. Yep. So this is the book of Isaiah chapter 34, and is at verse 4. Okay, and it says, And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved. All right, what's that talking about? All right. That in the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. See, it's not talking about the spiritual world, man. All right. No, it's talking about the, the, the atmosphere, all right, the skies, man. All right. When it speaks about this being rolled together as a scroll, that's literally talking about the mushroom cloud. All right, that's that's the result of missiles making contact on ground zero, man. All right, you know that 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 smoke is gonna come, is gonna roll roll together as a scroll, man. All right, it says, and all their hosts shall fall down. Okay, I'm talking about the armies of Esau, man. All right, the, the host of, of this current heaven, this man's heaven, all right, or Esau Edom's heaven, are gonna be dissolved, man. Okay, and the heavens, right, and that's why you got. The two heavens in here, man. You got the heavens being the, the host of heaven being dissolved, right? Which represents the armies of, of this man's heaven, his kingdom, okay? And then you got the heavens being rolled together as a scroll, talking about the, the outer atmosphere, the atmosphere of the skies, man, okay? It says, and all their host shall fall down as a leaf falleth off from the vine and as a fallen fig from the fig tree, okay? So that's all I want to get on that. Uh, I just want to bring out that example. But um, let's see, where was I? Yeah, so back at Revelation chapter 12, and this is at verse uh, 8, it said, And prevail not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. Okay? And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. I'm talking about this man, right? You saw Edom, okay? Because uh, he has deceived the whole world, man, and he still continues in that same deception, okay? He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him, all right? And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and kingdom of our power. So, so the, the coming of this, the salvation and the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemel Shah is going to come by way of the downfall of this current, this, this current king, all right? Babylon the Great, okay? It says, in the power of his anointed, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accuses them before our power day and night. And he, and he does this, man. That's why he has his own priesthood, all right? Esau, Edom, they have their own priesthood, all right? And they consult with, uh, you know, they consult uh, concerning our, our people, man. And they, and they say that, look, look, look at your people. Look what they're doing, all right? You see how they're transgressing your word, but the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, is observing this man. And he, and he sees that this man is causing our people to fall, man, okay? 
So those, those things in which he's trying to promote and accuse us of, okay? No, the Lord's not hearing that, man. Okay? That's why it's going to come to a point where his pronosticators, his stargazers, they're not going to have any answers for him in, in the time to come, man. All right? Because that, that the, 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 the power that they have is given to them, man. It's, it's given to them. You know, it's not of their own, okay? And guess what? It's going to be taken away from them. The knowledge that they have, all right, in this world is going to be uh, completely uh, destroyed, man. It's going to be taken away, okay? So, um, yeah, that's it on that. Uh, we we'll go ahead and move on to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50. And this is at verse 29. It says, Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she hath done, do unto her. For she hath been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Right? So now the archers are being called against Babylon, man. Okay? Those archers represents uh, the missiles, man, okay? And all these diff uh, different nations that have thermonuclear uh, capabilities, okay? They are all being called together against Babylon the Great, which is America, man, all right? This is all ye that have been to bow camp against it round about. So this place is surrounded, man, okay? America has no way out, all right? And, and there is no going back either, man, all right? Th this is it, man. This is the climax, okay? Um, and it says, let their own thereof escape. Right, and it says recompense her according to her work. And like we read earlier at the beginning of the live stream, right, uh, the book of Numbers, right? Uh, Numbers 35, okay? Uh, Nahum, the third chapter, the bloody city, okay? Now it's time for this place to be rewarded for all that she have done, okay? Because she had, like it says here, she had been proud against the Lord, Yahweh, Bashanel, Shai, okay? Verse 30, it says, therefore shall her young men fall in the streets and all her men of war, that's the point, all her men of war, right, the army men, okay, the, the, the mighty men of, 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 of Esau, Edom, okay, shall be cut off in that day, said the Lord, okay. So, uh, let's see, it's like, I'm going to go down just a little bit. Uh, let's see, it's like, here it is, yep. So, uh, Jeremiah chapter 50, I'm skipping down to verse 37. It says, A sword is upon their horses and upon their chariots and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her. Right? And, and there is an intermingling of the people. That's why they call this place the melting pot. Okay? Because you have a, a mixture of all these uh, different nations all right, that, are, that are here and, and their different ideas, ideologies, and religions, man. Okay? This place, you know, this place is indeed a cauldron. And the scriptures tell you that this place is a cauldron. All right? Um, read on, right? It says, um, and they shall become as women. <laughs> See? A sword is upon her treasures, and they shall be robbed. Okay? And um, it's a little bit more in this slide. Let me see if I can go down just a little bit more. I believe I'm going to skip down to 50, 56. It's like I might be wrong. Yeah, I believe it's on that. Okay. So I'm going to get the book of uh, Jeremiah, uh, chapter 51. And this is at verse 30. It says, The mighty men of Babylon have forborn to fight. They have remained in their holes. Their might have failed. They became as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. All right. And uh, I'm going to jump down just a little bit. That's like it. Uh, bear with me for one second. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to jump down a little bit. Uh, it's the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, and there's uh, verse uh, 56. Okay. Uh, it says, it says, because the spoiler has come upon her, even upon Babylon, and her mighty men are taken. Every one of their bowls is broken. For the Lord, Yahweh, Bashan, shot of recompenses shall surely you will quit. All right, let's look at the word we'll quit. All right. So the word uh, re requit. Okay, 
quick. So the word with quick, it means to, to be repaid. Okay? To be repaid. All right? To make an end of. All right? Um, yeah, that's it on that. Yeah, that's it on the word. Uh, requit. Okay? So it means to, 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 to be repaid and to, and to be requited, to make an end of. All right? And the word Hebrew word is, uh, 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 let's see, it's like it. Actually, that word, that word goes back to uh, Shalom. And we already know what that means. Uh, it means uh, peace, okay? But in the scripture, by way of this taking place, right, to be requited or to requit something, right, you're basically taking that into account, all right, and you're, you're giving it as just due reward, okay, and through that comes peace. Okay, which it makes sense, man. Okay. So uh so going back to Jeremiah 50, and uh let's see, slide it. That's like it, I'm at 51, that's like go back. All right. So back at uh Jeremiah 51. Uh I'm gonna start at uh verse one believe I'm at verse 57. So Jeremiah uh, chapter 51 is at verse 57. It says, and I will make drunk her princes and her wise men, her captains and her rulers and her mighty men, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake, save the king, whose name is Yahweh Shnel Shai, the Lord of hosts. All right. So it says, look, these, the Lord's going to make drunk her princes, right? Her rulers. Okay. And you see that today, man. Okay. In other words, when, you, when you're drunk, right? You have no control over, over what you're doing, man. All right? You you lose control, okay? Your your inhibitions are, are completely gone, man. Okay? And you're more than likely to do anything, okay? So that's what's happening, man, with, with the, the rulers, okay? Because, see, now they're in that state, okay, where they have lost complete control, even though they're try, trying to submit it, right? But they're losing it, man. All right, and that's why it's gonna to get to a point where they're just gonna just gonna throw caution to the wind and say, "Look, take this this M O T B, all right, take this M A R K, all right, and they're gonna pitch it to our people as something that's a, a benefit, right? And like I said, they're gonna willingly take it, man, all right. Um, but like it says here, it says they, uh, uh, they're gonna sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake, man. All right, in other words, they're gonna be destroyed, man. They're not gonna rise ever again." Okay. Uh, let's see, going on from there. Uh, yeah, that's it on that. Okay. Yep, so I'm going to go on from there. Uh, I'm going to get the book of uh, Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 9. I'm going to get these last few precepts here. Share it real quick. Okay. So the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, this is at verse 9. It says, And thy mighty man, O Teman, shall be dismayed. Right, and that's why uh, the, the, the team and the team and knights, right? They they are considered uh, the wise men of Esau. All right, they're they're sick of the nation of Edom. All right, the team and knights, and and they're 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 here today as the Germans. Okay, and that's where you get a lot of this technology from. You know, a, a lot of these uh, te technological capabilities, these these are uh, for, for war. You know. How to split an atom, you know, all that's from the, from the, uh, the Germans, man. Okay, it says, in, in, and the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter for thy bonds against thy brother Jacob. Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right, so for the shame of, of, of the shame, all right, or it's like it for the bonds against Jacob, right, which is our people, shame is going to cover him, man. He's going to be cut off forever, man. Okay, um. Verse 11 says, In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his horses, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was one of them. That's why I read early in the book of Psalms, they said, Race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof, man. Okay? So that's why the Lord is going to pay them back, man, okay, for what they've done. All right? So I'm going to move on from there. Um, let me grab this last piece. I'm not going to on that. I close out on this. There's our wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10. And uh, this is at verse 8. It says, For regarding not wisdom, right, they gotten not only this hurt, 
that they knew not the things which were good, but also left behind them to the world. All right, and this is this is this is talking about the different events that took place um, in the ancient world. Okay, you had certain things that were done to create examples on what not to do. Okay, and, and what to uh, uh, to be aware of, man. And this time is going to come in the form of America being destroyed. Okay, that's why uh, the scriptures speak about the smoke being ascended up, all right, into the heavens. All right, and other you know, nations witnessing that smoke. Okay, this place is going to be set as a memorial on what not to do and, and what happens when you rule a kingdom by pure wickedness. Okay, just how you have Memorial Day commemorating the, the you know military the army. Guess what? We're going to have a, a you're going to hey, America's going to be set as a memorial. A remembrance on, on what what you know what happens again when you rule by wickedness. Okay, it says, uh, but also left behind them to the world a memorial of their foolishness, right? And that's the title. All right, is the world a memorial of their foolishness, so that in the things wherein they offended, they cannot so much as be hid. Okay, so again, like I said, you know this this is going to be set as a memorial of their foolishness, man. All right, America's going to be set as, as an example. To all the people around the world, this is what the Lord has done, all right, to the ones who are ruled by wickedness. This is what is going to happen, man, okay? This is this is, this is uh, the result of what's going on today, okay? So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close out on that note. Um, you know, like always, uh, Lord's will is edifying to the the nation of Israel. And, um, you know, Lord's will is, uh, you know, you got fed with this word, you know, and, um, you know, as we go through the rest of the week, you know, until, until we do it all over again, man. All right, so with that, I'm going to close it out. Uh, again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Ha'ashai, Ba'ashim, Ha'ashim, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone and rulers of this very day. Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the hope you elect. Continue to labor this work and labor to show for your diligence to make your calling election sure and faith and truth sincerity and also in all charity. And with that, I say Shalom.